YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Uh, B. Lebowski back on location again uh, with another review on some some new bowling shoes that just just um, just came in the day. Too. I got the uh, the 3G Sport Ultras, so kind of uh, short for time right now. So I'm just going to give a, a brief overview on what comes in the box and some of the features on the shoe. So let's get into it. Uh, opening up the box. We have this uh, shoe cover. Um, I'm, this is probably going to be repurposed for something else, but anyways, nice little trinket to send with it. Um, these shoes do have uh, detachable soles and heels on the uh, slide foot. Uh, the numbering system is opposite uh, to the Dexters. Uh, they come with the three, uh, six, I want to say this is a four. Trying to do all this with one hand, so bear with me. Yep, it comes with a four attached to the shoe. Uh, this is the first heel. This is a pretty much standard break on it. Um, as I said, with the number system, the three would be the uh, would give you the most slot. The four will be in between, and the six will be the uh, most resistance which on the um dexters it will be you know just flip it coming down to 10 with a 10 8 and 6 will be uh, more slide less slide more break uh comes with uh two soles one rubber kind of like a shark tooth for the most break uh leather heel for the for more slide <clears throat> And let's take it the shoe. Let's take a look at the shoe. The shoe is a man. Out of all the shoes I have, I have to say to me, as far as the visual appeal, this is the sharpest shoe so far. Um, this the only difference between these and the uh, the three G. I want to say they're tours, sport tours. Their their top model is these are made up of uh, cowhide leather and the. The ultras are made up of a, um, I want to say it's a kangaroo leather. I can already tell. I haven't bowled in these yet, but I can tell. I can tell with these that it's going to take a break-in period. They are stiff. The um, push foot has an attached uh, rubber heel with a pretty reinforced toe. Uh, Non-detachable heel. The... Now, I did buy these. I always try to put in a different uh, insole. The only shoe that I have so far that I did not need to replace the insole was the KR uh, Strike Force uh, Ignites. They already had a super comfortable uh, Ortholite heel. But uh, the slide foot again, uh, this one is the gold coloration. They, I believe they come in the uh, a blue version and a black version as well. Uh, cowhide leather, nice upper. And a cool part about this uh, this slide foot, as you can see, the where where the insert goes is kind of like detached from the um, from the whole slide, as opposed to these. And yes, I told you I was going to get them. I got them. I got them too. These now. I haven't done a review on these yet because I've been bowling in these for the last week and I really want to have a detailed review on these. Man, I'm loving these shoes. These Now, I don't know what leather this, this is, but it's much softer than these uh, these uh, 3Gs, but this, is, this shoe is a monster. But as you can see on the bottom of these, the slide attaches to a whole shoe, so it's a little bit different. Um, but then, then, like I said before, I do have the SST6 hybrids, and I will be doing a review on these, uh, I want to say month, sometime midweek. Uh, anyway, back to the shoe at hand. These are the uh, 3G Sport Ultras. Um, I will be getting back with you, letting you know uh, after the break-in period how, they, how, they, how they're holding up. Uh, anyway, I'm out. Be peaceful. Keep bowling.